Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with certificates. Our viewer is trying to create an X509 Certificate 2 from a string, but they're running into a cannot find the requested object exception. Let's break down the situation and see how we can help them resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error you're encountering, cannot find the requested object, typically indicates that the data being passed to the X509 Certificate 2 constructor is not in the expected format. Let's take a closer look at your code. You are converting a byte array to a base 64 string and then back to a byte array. This double conversion might be unnecessary. Instead, you can directly use the byte array from file.pk7 to create the X09 Certificate 2 object. Here's how you can modify your code. Additionally, ensure that the byte array you are using actually contains valid certificate data. If the data is corrupted or not a valid certificate, you will still encounter errors. Finally, if you still face issues, consider checking the permissions and the environment where your application is running, as these can also affect certificate loading. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're encountering a cannot find the requested object exception while creating an X509 Certificate 2 from a string, it might be due to how you're handling a PKCSR7 signed data blob. There are two main methods to open it. The first method extracts the signing certificate. If there's no signing certificate, it fails with an error. The second method imports all extra certificates, ignoring the signing certificate. So if you're dealing with PKCS MAR7, you likely want to use the collection import method. If not, check your variable names for issues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The X509 Certificate 2 constructor requires a certificate file name, but it seems you're providing a key instead. Make sure the certificate is installed on your machine. To find the certificate, you can use the X509 store class. Open the store and search for the certificate using its thumbprint. You can also explore other search options like find by key usage or find by subject key identifier for more flexibility. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.